Hello everyone, on today's IRS tax refund update, we'll take a look at several new developments, including the next round of tax refunds scheduled for release this week. We also have the latest numbers out from the IRS on the unprocessed backlog, as well as an update and positive news for those still waiting on their amended returns. We also have a new notice being sent out by the IRS to some experiencing delays, so we'll take a look at that, and how some being requested to send in documents to the IRS may now see their refund wait times reduced as a result of a new feature. Starting off with the next round of tax refunds scheduled for release this week, with the next batches of direct deposit refunds scheduled for release on June 22nd and June 26th. Now, in the majority of cases, if you're part of these refund batches, those deposits will be posted to your bank accounts the day of listed on your tax transcript. However, do allow several additional days to, for it to post to your bank account before initiating a payment trace. Meanwhile, the next batch of paper checks is scheduled for release on June 23rd. While most were received in 7 to 10 business days, do allow up to 30 days to receive that in the mail. Turning to the latest update from the IRS on the remaining backlog of unprocessed tax returns, as we saw a significant drop of 300,000 returns from the week prior to now 3.5 million unprocessed tax returns remaining. However, that drop of 300,000 returns came entirely from unprocessed paper returns. Now, we do know for a fact that there were e-file returns processed in the last week, so the question remains why no drop at all in the e-file and special processing numbers. As we reported last year, and we suspect again this year, the unprocessed backlog is once again being underreported by the IRS, and it in fact is much larger. We discovered irregularities last year, and that was confirmed by the National Taxpayer Advocate, who released much higher numbers than the IRS did, which the IRS later did confirm. Also, the IRS has now stopped posting weekly updates on the processing of tax returns filed this year, so we cannot separate how many returns remain filed this year versus last year. Several of our viewers have reached out wanting more information on amended returns, so we start off with the latest update on the backlog of amended returns, which has actually dropped in the last week by 70,000. So finally, some significant progress being made on those returns. The backlog remains at 1.42 million, and that is down from 1.49 million from the week prior to now its lowest level since late April. However, these types of returns continue to be processed at a much slower rate than regular returns. On the topic of amended returns, we've received reports, one of which is confirmed by the tax transcript seen here, that the processing of those and issuing of refunds is in some cases taking less than the five plus months being quoted by the IRS. This viewer had filed their amended return in early March. The return has finished processing with a refund scheduled for release next week, which puts their overall wait time at less than four months. However, as a result of this, it does appear that these amended returns are not completed in the order in which they are received. So for those still waiting, the major reduction of amended return backlog in the last week and the reduced processing times are hopefully an indication that your wait is nearing an end. Also do note in several cases, the wait times for amended returns filed last year was over one year with several cases stretching up to 14 months. Several of our viewers are now reporting receiving this non-filing of a tax return letter as seen here. Tax filers who see that the IRS has not begun to process a tax return are likely to see this, especially paper filers after attempting to access their tax transcripts. Now, this is going to be expected until your return has been entered in the system and is normal. This letter is particularly important for those on financial aid for schools who may be requested to provide income verification in regards to their FAFSA application. As delays continue for many and the IRS continues to send out notice to impacted taxpayers, there's now a chance for those being asked to provide certain documentation to the IRS to reduce their wait time for that refund by uploading documents instead of mailing them back to the IRS. If you receive one of several notices, from the IRS listed here, including the CP05A and CP75 notice, you can now upload the requested documents online, which could save potentially at a minimum of weeks of waiting. Meanwhile, the IRS continues to send out ID verification letters, including the 5071C notice as seen here. There are several different versions of this letter, which may include the 6331C and 5747C notice, in which a person can verify their identity online to lift any processing and refund freezes. However, if you receive notices such as the 6330C notice requesting ID verification, you cannot complete this process online and must contact the Taxpayer Protection Program by phone for further details. Let us know in the comments section below about your ongoing tax refund issue. In the meantime, we'll keep monitoring the situation for further developments, so make sure to click on the thumbs up and subscribe button below for future updates on this channel, and thanks for watching.